Good morning. If you joined me yesterday, you will know what a mess I made of this attempt at painting with what brushes I had on hand I, on a project piece that's for a contest called How Do You Do White? This is probably not going to be my, my project piece, but maybe a miracle happened today. I don't... I don't always trust what comes through on art to be coming from me. It just, let's hope that some artist up there in the world can send some artistic vibes. Hey, Tanya, some artistic vibes down through my fingertips today because what I came up with yesterday was a total mess. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try to hold it up. The, the thick clumps of the paint that I splattered on there with the uh, squirt bottle yesterday afternoon. Uh, well, I tried to smooth some of that over after, and then I actually put some of the uh, liquid patina over it so I would be able to paint over it this morning. But that's all cracked up. But I'm not minding all that being cracked up because I was going for uh, a textured finish anyway. So... Um, I found a big wad of brushes at home, and then I found a big wad of, uh, palette knives, so I brought them, but I am going to make a confession here. My name is Terry. I am addicted to tote bags, and I have them full of stuff everywhere, in my office, in my paint storage room, in my painting room, in my craft room at home, my painting room at home, my bedroom at home, downstairs at home. I've got three sitting here on the floor beside me, and probably two or three in the car, and they all have junk in them that I think I absolutely have to have with me at all times. So I'm going to go with what tools I got, but another thing I grabbed out this morning was some uh, stencils, because if all else fails and we're trying to save this thing, we'll stencil some stuff on it. But um, that if you weren't watching yesterday, I'm going to move the camera down now, <laughs> Tanya. Yes, I am. Hey, Teresa, I am a tote bag addict, and they are all full of little bits of nothingness. Okay, I'm uh, going to put this down to where I'm trying to get it close enough to where you can see the work, so you really won't see me anymore in here. But yesterday, I was going with just whatever whoever was on here was telling me to do like don't do a vase and add some more blue at the top and add some more pink and this and that and that was a lot of fun and and i i, I laughed and i really needed all that laugh and so yeah well my i would trip over tote bags if i tried to move right now and stand up uh and then i have these little ones that are actually just sitting here on the table but uh anyway so i um gonna just try something else on top of it because that's the good thing about uh about paint is you can always paint over it but i'm using the diy paints on this and not acrylics so i can't just paint over it because when i wet it it's um when i wet it it's going to reactivate the paint that's underneath it Sorry, I keep getting messages. It's going to reactivate the paint that's underneath it and bring that color back up, except for on the flowers where I threw on some a top coat last night so that wouldn't bleed back through. So I still, oh, sorry about that. I still have the objective of white being the focus of attention on this piece. That's still the main thing. Whether these lollipop looking things still remain to be flowers or not, I don't know. Um, but I figured today, since uh, yesterday I just used whatever wads of brushes were here, um, that I would bring in some palette knives and try to see if I could just make it look like more, here's a wad of them, more of a mixed media piece using the palette knives, uh, rather than the brushes and i did some splatters yesterday and if you missed it this was almost empty i squirted so put some water in here and shook it up and just squirted big piles which that's what left the runs and the splatters on the canvas there which i actually like they're some of my favorite parts and i like it to have some texture so i don't mind the the uh cracks and things and the thickness that's on here because i i blobbed lots of paint on there before we left and you can't really see any of the other stuff anymore so i have no idea what to do today except for i want to stick with the same colors the the challenge is uh 
at least three colors and how do you do white well i don't do white very much and i should probably just go do some kind of cute farmhouse piece and have this over with if i'm gonna and i'm using my butter knife trying to get my paint open here if i'm gonna you know try to do something with the contest it actually has a the winner gets to go to a class with uh dion woods at the turquoise iris and uh Anissa from this and that in Oklahoma. I don't know if it's in Oklahoma City or Norman, Oklahoma. Anyways, it's next month. And uh, I'm pretty much given that this thing ain't going to get me there <laughs> since, it, since I'm in a group of like 300 other women uh, doing something cool with white this month. But I figured I may as well still have a good time and share it with y'all and just go through the sort of the therapeutic process of what you get to do when you just don't have expectations on yourself. So I'm gonna grab this big old palette knife because it's my favorite and I'm gonna darken back up this very top. Can y'all see that? Yeah. And I'm not trying to cover up everything that's underneath there perfectly get up next to my lollipop flowers or I don't have really any expectations at all except for I wish that the top of my canvas was a little bit darker. And I don't want to now that I'm doing this I don't want to cover up all them white splatters that I loved so much from the paint splatter yesterday. But I was trying to, uh, I don't know the word to use, but to make sure that everybody understood focal point and coming from a center area when I was talking about the flowers. And what I did was, uh, you know, sort of go overboard with that to make sure that it would come through on the, you know, through the video. And you know, there, there ain't a thing wrong with what not to do videos either, right? wanting to make this like a little bit of a shadow underneath all of the flowers. Even though this is going a little farther down than I want it to. Wow. There we go. I like it better already. How about that? Hi, Kim. We are trying to save a canvas that I started yesterday using just what brushes were on hand and squirting straight out of my little uh, FIFO bottles and everything else. And man, it's more definitely of a therapeutic piece than it has been an artistic piece so far. But I'm having a good time and I hope y'all are having a good time too. I probably should have got out more than one green and maybe I can use this apothecary as a little bit of a green. And I had some fancy farm girl. I guess I'll do the same thing today as I did yesterday. Because I'm wanting to go then lead in from the blue to the green. You know what? I'm going to squirt it in. A, we'll squirt it in one of these. Well, I done squirted some there if you can see it. But I'm not as brave as I thought I was. Probably need a little bit smaller of a palette knife. And grab this one. I know, I just, <laughs> I know, that if it, if it's, if it's as ugly as it was when I got here this morning, whenever I leave this afternoon, it's going to go over there in the corner, and one day it'll become some pink flowers or something, because it's just not, it, sometimes you can paint and paint and, and do something and improve on what you've got, but sometimes you need to give that up, and just start with a fresh idea, and then come back and paint paint over this thing and 
that that's the thing. This could become a barn painting one day. It does not have to be lollipop flowers in any way, shape, or form for the rest of its life just because it was for a moment in time. I love the palette knives. They make me feel better already. What I don't like are the too much of these stems that I was kind of showing yesterday. And you know, the difference in the DIY paints and the, you know, the acrylic paints that I usually do canvas with is, you know, pretty big too. Uh, not just the texture of the paint and and how to use them, but the fact that, you know, if I wet it too much right now where I would normally want to be wetting my brush, I would uh, reactivate whatever color is underneath there. I'm all right with that, if y'all are. Try to scrape the last little bit out of here. What I'm gonna do now is either pretend this is going to go down into the apothecary that it's either uh, going to resemble a table in a minute or it's the ground, the grass. Doesn't too much matter. Back to the butter knife. We decided yesterday, you know, if the butter knife is the little bitty funny shaped one, about half the size with the cute little handle, then this one is just the paint opening tool that comes with every set of dishes or every set of silverware. There are some people who are so neat and perfect with their stuff at the end of the day. I'm on I'm on the run when I'm done with mine. But they're, you know, who put Vaseline around their edges and just do all the smart stuff and don't end up having to use a butter knife to open their containers. Okay, I'm gonna grab some of this. We're just gonna try to go a little lighter. Oh, I forgot to put my apron on. And I do like this shirt. I have another one just like it that I already got uh, paint on, so I bought me another one because I liked it so much. And now, here I see it. Okay, what I'm gonna try to do right here is mist a little bit with this water right there at the line between those two and see what happens. I want it to kind of fade from one to the other and be a little bit messy or not so much of a good line. Might be a little bit of green left in there. Try to dirty up these edges with some of the green. I'm good with it. Y'all good with it? Okay. I'm gonna dry it a tad. I really wanted the flowers to be very, very white. And yet I wanted the undercolor of the bohemian blue and the fancy farm girl to shine through a little bit. But it's not the way it happened. But I have an idea popping up in my head right this minute. You see how the paint is lightening up? That's where the clay-based paint is drying. 
And once I put a top coat on it, I won't have to get a top coat on it, even though it's a, a canvas painting, uh, to seal it, even though... I took a picture of what I came into here this morning, or before I left last night. To compare to whatever it's going to look like at the end of today. I'm going to put my apron on, y'all. I don't want to ruin my shirt. apron that's good I do like it better already it's less lollipoppy without those lines through the middle here's what I'm thinking right this minute I have these what if I um, choose a stencil and then go over the flowers with that design I wish this would that's too big I want something small Probably just gonna have to take something off of here or either this. Kind of like this, why not? What is that called? Well, we've got this or we've got this uh, quadruple. Anybody have a preference of which one? What I'm gonna do is lay it over the top of my flowers and put white all over it. I kind of like that there. I don't have this in mind, so let's see. I guess we could do some of each. I like this one. Nobody's, nobody has a preference. We're going to go with this one, I think. No, we're not. We're going to go with this one. Okay. What I have somewhere here is a... Uh, that didn't sound good. Is a chip brush that I cut the tip off tips off of and made it real short and that's what I used to um, here it is see how uh, like a regular chip brush length would be like that I cut these off so that made them real stiff and that's what I used to uh, stencil with Okay, I have some vintage linen. That's what we're going to go for. And where's the button off? There's always plan B. That's the spoon. I ran in, I didn't get here 15 minutes ago, so normally I would have made out sure all my jars of paint were open already and everything like that, so y'all didn't have to wait on me, but um, I was running in at the last minute, putting out a few fires on the other side, and I said I'd be here at 1030, so that's what I wanted to make sure and do. Okay, I'm just going to dab down in that white paint. I'm not taping the stencil down or anything. I have a, my surface here is a drop cloth, so I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to dab offload some of that. I'm not worried about the uh, there's, it, this is thick and not much getting on there, so I'm not going to offload at this point. Uh, I'm not worried if I'm going outside of the realm of what the flower originally was either. I just really don't have much to lose at this point. I still want a tad of that those other colors showing through but not much because white's the white's the subject I don't even think you can tell we'll 
Well, that's quite the bummer. You can tell a little bit. It gives a little bit of texture, and I'm going to continue with the other flowers. Because this can just be another layer. Flowers do have layers. You can maybe tell a little bit more on that one. I've reactivated a little bit of the blue there that's underneath it, so I must not have got as much of the, uh, what's it called, the uh, liquid patina on there last night as I intended. Set that aside and here's my new idea I'm gonna use this I'm gonna do this and one streak down each one to semi resemble leaves and stems and I'm gonna get some white on there first and that's the problem here is the green I've already been using. I don't know if it's going to show back up, but that's why I put that white, especially at the edges a little bit, where when I put some green on there, maybe that'll highlight the edges of it. It's showing up a little bit, an indication of it. Yay. Trying to go a little more toward the edges with the white to get it on here and then a little more toward the centers with the green so that maybe the white outline in the green makes it show up more. do it for the big ones. Although I do kind of like it. Think, 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 think. And we'll put it all the way down. We can put it everywhere. You know, when you start a project like this, if you don't stress over it, I've done projects like scrapbooking projects and things like that where you want it to come out so pretty and you want it to be, you know, just right and you want all your friends to ooh and ah over it if you're at a crop or something. And that's stressful. That's not fun. That sort of takes the fun out of um, doing something creative, or it does for me. It may not for everybody. But it does for me and, and whenever I do something just like, you know, out of the blue, no expectations, there's no, you know, anything that I can think of that's going to tell what this is supposed to look like because even I don't know what it's supposed to look like and that takes so much of the pressure off and lets you have so much more enjoyment out of your artistic stuff. I 
that's a big old blob of white. I like it. Hey, Mikey. And that paint will reactivate. I can bring those in there whenever in a minute to uh, wash them off. So that's not going to be a worry. I'm going to dump that in there for right this minute. And the other color that I had used on the painting was Kissing Booth. And let's decide you have to have at least three colors. And I have three colors. Right, I actually have four colors right now, including the white. But... Um, I want a little bit of this kissing booth on there and I'm trying to decide right now whether it's going to be drippy tears that fall below my painting or whether it's going to be swirls in my flowers. I think I'm going to go with swirls in the flowers right this minute because I want this to dry a little bit more and I probably will do some drips on it, but I will put do that uh, like after lunch or something or put a coat of... Um, liquid patina or whatever on this portion of it because I don't want to lose what I just put there with the uh, stencils whenever I spray it with water and if I if I didn't do that uh, it would reactivate it and just make a mess out of the whole dang thing okay should we stay with the palette knobs have my favorites. I love this little tiny one. This thing is tiny, tiny. Um, and I'm going to just make some squiggles in my flowers with it. They're dry, so I'm just dipping straight in and not worrying about it. should have got something larger. Well, they're happier flowers now, I think. I'm going to put a quick coat of uh, liquid patina underneath the flowers from here down to go ahead. Well, I'm going to dry it a little bit first to seal that. And then I'm going to uh, go back to this kissing booth, this bright pink, and sort of make a line of it there and then squirt my water over it and try to make uh, drips.
This is the liquid patina. I'm wanting to find a chip brush that I can just fit in here with. I don't see one. I'm going to use this uh, Paint Pixie number eight. And it is smearing a little, but that's okay. That's part of this look, too, so I'm not going to stress over it. And I don't mind if a little bit of, you know, of the colors do blend together in a minute. Also need to put a little bit of some kind of leaves in there. I'm wanting to mix some green up in the blue. All I have is the uh, this fancy fancy farm girl in here. I'm gonna squirt a little bit. I got too much of that. But I'm gonna squirt a little bit of that in there, and I'm gonna mix. Uh, what can I do? I'm gonna mix. A little bit of this letterpress gray with it to deepen it just a tad um, and then so that it's not the same color as my other green here <clears throat> So when you're, this is going to be, this is a pretty good amount of gray in there, so we'll see. But when you're mixing paints, if you mix white with them, and I'm hoping I'm going to say this right, if I was to have mixed white with this green, I would have made a tint of the Fancy Farm Girl. If I mix gray with it, that's a tone. And if I mixed black with it, that would have been a shade. So I'm trying to get stay in the same color family of green but get it to be uh, a different tone of green hope i said that right i'm just going to grab another palette knife this one's similar to the one i used earlier move over at least part of this green in with i mean gray in with my green to deepen it up i'm gonna mix it all in there may even want it to be a blue green but we'll see i'll need two shades of it maybe anyways i'll do this a minute then i'll come back and add some of the bohemian blue and uh put a little bit of low lights with them so i'm just wanting to come in and be a little bit of a leaf here and there resemblance of a leaf The kissing booth wasn't all the way dry and getting in there a little bit too but you know what sometimes in leaves there are a little bit of the color of the flower in the leaf so that's cool that worked out I'm running a little just extra green here and there kind of straight down from them this time not necessarily as stems but as an idea of another color that can run with it and just as a way to kind of tie them together. Okay, let me add just a tad of Bohemian Blue to this. Oh, for goodness sakes, didn't we just have this one open? There we go. Okay, let's see if I can pour a tad. There we go. Mix 
that in there and see if I can get a deep blue green. Oh yeah, that's very pretty. I'm gonna use this to kind of make some veins in my leaves or, you know, think about where the sun would be and make the shaded side of the leaves be a little bit darker. That would be the underneath of this one. See, it's, it's kind of floating out here and there. That is absolutely okay with me. These will be a little more shaded, a little more in there. This will be pretty shaded. Okay, now I'm going to come back and put just a little bit of white in there and go back and highlight. I'm going to stay in the same color. sort of the top side. Over. Bring us lines down. Not much in there. doing this because why waste the paint right just put it somewhere this cardboard thing's about to fall apart I've been using it since yesterday okay Sort of went too soon with my uh, liquid patina because I'm going to need to do that again now. Just grab a chip brush. in a lot of my uh, stencil from earlier. I may put it back. Okay. I'm going to come back with another one and just go straight polka dots in my flowers over the pink. 
with the white. do anything either. This is not... fulfilling me with my ideal situation here. this have to be green, right? I'm going to go again with the kissing booth and a different idea than I had a minute ago. This is such a pretty color. This is DIY Kissing Booth. Okay. If this works, this will be the first time this painting. And if it doesn't, we'll go to plan C, right? You still see it Turn around that way a little bit there you go I'm gonna point down with my water there we go down with my water down with my water down with my water down with my water down down These misters mist very soft, and that's the benefit of this instead of a regular squirt bottle, which would drench the whole thing and make a hole of no paint left there at all.
I don't hate it. Still going to do something because the, so the, the flowers need to be white. Don't know why I keep putting all those other colors, blobs and holes and everything on it, but I'm going to go at it again with the white. And it's a completely different painting than I came into earlier, but I like it. Liking's a good thing. Okay, um... You know what? I've never used this palette knife. It's round. Maybe that's what I need. I am. Looking for one of these that, you know what, I'll go in this gray. What's going to happen is this is from yesterday from, if you didn't watch, let me turn it around and see, that chalkboard well, the, that chalkboard right there, I splattered white paint on both of them, so now I have to touch them both up. But this is the uh, letterpress gray by itself that I used for the chalkboard uh, on that I'm going to put my paint process on. But that'll just water in here, and this white paint will reactivate that a little bit and turn this paint white. But what, I mean, gray, what um, I... I don't mind that because a little bit of gray with white will just give me another shade of, of white in there. So I have a stack of these somewhere that don't have anything in them, but your guess is good as mine. This will be much better. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It doesn't even look like the same mm -hmm. painting, does it? <laughs> it needed a little color there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the hard part is usually I'll just do what's in my head, but this has to be the subject of this, now they're getting round again, the subject of this is white. How do you do white? So, still going on thick so I'm still expecting this to you know maybe crack a little bit in the night getting a little bit in there I'm just gonna mix it in now of the uh, kissing booth that was still uh, wet has reactivated with my white here so this is still a white it's just a pinky white I have to have some kind of swirls going through here to give it you know the texture that a flower will need Outside, whoops, that's a lot of pink. Outside the lines a little bit so they don't look quite so much like lollipops. I'm soften them up. Oh, I like it, y'all. I like the pink in there. Then what do I do? What do I do about the white now that I like yeah. the pink? Anybody have a suggestion? How to make white still be the focus? I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's see if I can get a... I'm gonna grab another wore out old chip brush. Try to get a little bit of white on the edges. So 
sort of frame it out a little. It adds a little more white. This piece may just have to be for me and you and not be for no contest that has to be white, huh? See what's gonna happen if we try to put a little white in there. Some more white, right? Okay, I'm gonna do the same, same technique as much as I don't want to. I'll just start up edges, trying to get a little bit more white on here. There's so much, it's so liquidy. Let's see. Still got a little bit of the green in this. And I'm going to wet the end of my stencil brush. Reactivate this a little bit. I'm gonna make this be a stopping point before lunch because it just am fiddle farting around and I'll probably do a little bit something and it's probably gonna be this I can go ahead and do it let's just do it and that's just a brush are you still getting a lunch at 12. What time is it now? Like 11 something. Okay. Um, I'm going to put two rows of this in here, maybe even two and a half. Go in the opposite direction of how we put it on earlier. Definitely looks nothing like the painting that we came into at 1030. That's for sure. Well, boom. Okay, that's where I'm going to stop at for right now. I'm still wanting to do something to the flowers. I have no idea what, but there you are. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I appreciate it, <laughs> y'all who were here with me just playing around and trying to figure out how to totally change the you know the look of something there I, I just want so badly to do something to those flowers why can't i leave well enough alone she said we got 20 minutes i think 
I've been on here almost an hour and I don't want to go much more than that. Facebook doesn't care for that very much. I'm going to get dip in this Bohemian Blue now and just try to get myself what I tried to do with the pink earlier. A little bit of, just a little bit of movement in there. And this is Bohemian Blue. thing. Oh, I don't know if I want to do it with this. Dipping my brush in the Bohemian Blue and I'm going to try to put some splatters. I'm done this time. I'm not touching this thing again until after lunch at least. <laughs> hey, Amy. I am taking a project piece that I started yesterday for uh, like a contest of how do you do white. And apparently I don't do white very well. I think there's probably paint on my face from the splatters. I think I feel it. But anyway, I came into something I absolutely hated this morning whenever I looked at what I had done yesterday. And I don't know that I like it very much more today, but... Here's what I'm finishing the first half of the day with. And I will, you know what I will probably do, I don't like to use black very much, but what I'll probably do, and I've got some black here. While y'all are here, let's see how this looks. Whether I'm making it better or making it worse. Maybe I should, uh, ooh, that's not even black. Maybe I should uh, go in those leaves a little bit and give them a little bit of shape. Let's see if I can get enough black out of here to do it this way. I want a good bit of water and just a small kind of a liner brush. And let's see, we had a leaf right there. We had a leaf right there. We had a leaf right there. Got a little bit of on here. I can't get enough water in it. Know that that did anything. I better leave it alone and eat lunch. It's probably what I need to do. Okay, so there we are at the end of the second morning. I appreciate y'all joining me. And if you have any suggestions of what to do next or what to add, just let me know and I will make it happen. Oh, Kathy, you are so sweet. Thank you. Hey. That's so nice. I was feeling pretty bad about myself right this minute. I appreciate that. <laughs>
So, okay, we're here to try new, new stuff, and we'll be doing it again tomorrow. Or, well, no, we won't. Maybe, maybe not. I'll be back at work on Monday for sure. Thank you so much for the thumbs up. That I appreciate that a lot. Bye.